Hey everyone, so today is the release of Segments, the new app by Elliot Garage, maybe Elliot Garage, depending on where you're from. And it is a sampler and slicer that people have been really excited about. So let's take a look at it here. Now, okay, here we have the presets menu. It only comes with a few presets, but there's a link to download more presets online. Okay, so we've got a preset loaded here. And, um, okay, this first button up at the top is really important here. This will change the global behavior of the slices. So as you can see at the moment, it's set on through. Now let's see then what happens there. I'm gonna press slice 13. Okay, so you see this is following through, going into the other slices. Let's look at other ones. Shot. Okay, so shot, tap once and it will keep moving, but it will only play that slice. But I don't have to hold it down. If I go to gate, it will only play for as long as I'm touching that slice. So if I wanted to play the whole slice, I've got to keep my finger down. Right, so that's different from shot. Shot, you can tap and let go. Gate, you've got to hold. Okay. Link, let's see what link does. Right, so you see, when we press link, or when we choose link, it's similar to gate, in that you've got to keep your finger on the screen but it will also go through the other slices after it. Okay. Right through, we already saw. Loop. Okay. Keeps looping. Pong. goes forward and then reverses. Okay, now, here we have a mono and poly button right up at the top, second button. Unfortunately, my mouse is not working tonight, so apologies for that. So, all right, poly. Obviously, we can play several slices at the same time. Okay, now, here we have uh, the pitch, and we can change this here. Um. Okay, now this is global, right? Now here we have this warp button. So you can see the difference between pitch and warp. Um, pitch, the time will change, but also the pitch will change. With warp, it's more like a time stretch. It's time stretch, so it will slow down or speed up, but the pitch won't change. Okay. Now, on the top right, we have these three buttons here. So here we have the pads view. Now here we have a keyboard. So if we look over here, we can see which uh, slice is selected and currently it's four. So when we play the keyboard, it's gonna play slice four, but it's gonna pitch it up and down. Again, in line with our that's different. Okay.
Right, so here we have keyboard. Now here we have effects. So we can add reverb. Try landing it here. Okay, or delay. Okay, or crush. And so we can play these X, Y pads as well. And then we have filter. Okay, now, um, if we look down, okay, here, we already talked about this a little bit. Now, lock. So, we can lock a parameter. Let me get rid of this effects view. Okay, so, if this is unlocked, the controls down here, like this volume and so on, at the moment, when I change pad, like let's say here I press 7, so now all this volume and everything, or these length settings, attack settings and so on, will refer to whichever slice is selected. But if I press the lock button, then these things will always refer to the slice that is locked, not some other slice that I'm pressing at any given time. Okay. So, we can use the reverse button to do a local reverse rather than global. So, even though this one, for example, is going Pong, because that's what we set in the global settings at the top, this one is going to do reverse instead. Okay. And now it's back to Pong. Okay, here we have pitch button, again local. So any changes we make here will just affect that slice. Okay, volume. You might have something that you want to make quieter. Pan. And by the way, of course, you can, oh, not here, you can automate these things in AUM. The parameters are all here. So you could control these with different LFOs and things like that. It also has multi out. A lot of people will be very pleased to hear that. Okay. Gain. So we can make things louder here. Choke, okay. If we make um, choke groups, this will... Uh, let me try and explain this to you. Hang on a second. Okay, first of all, we need to make sure that in the global settings at the top, we have poly set. So normally when we have poly set, we can play several slices at the same time, right? But by, ch by doing chokes, we can set certain slices to exhibit the behavior that they will cut each other off when they begin. So let me first set that up. So seven, slice seven, we will put choke on. And then I go to eight, and I'll also put choke on. Okay, and so now, see what happens. So press six and I press 7, and they're both able to play. But let's see what happens when I press 7 and 8. Do you see that they're not playing polyphonically? As soon as I, pre if I press 8, 
as soon as I press 7, it will switch to 7. So that's how we can use these choke groups. With start, we can vary the start point of a slice. Now, when you, when you change that, if you bring it back down, you'll notice here that we have a very small slice because now it's become relative to the size. So what do we do in that case? We have to, first of all, bring start back here, and then we go to the length button and we slide along, and now it's the full length again. Okay. And with attack, we can change. So here we've got a slower attack. Okay, and we can do the same with release. So let's bring the release down. Right. Okay, now the all button over here on the right. If we do this, we can change all of the pads behavior at the same time. So for example, if I change the release, you see, now they're all changing, not just pad 8. Okay, now the last thing that I want to look at is loading your own files. So there are a few things you can do. So one extremely cool thing, oh my god, thank you. Andrea, for introducing this. I mean, really, more apps need to be doing this kind of thing. Uh, you can just drag files in here. How beautiful is that? You can also use open in. Um, so you can just go into your files or whatever and find a file that you want and then choose open in and then choose segments. So this is brilliant. Um, but we can also do it from in here by pressing on this file and then dragging something in. So then what can we do, right? So first of all, we can zoom in by doing a double pinch movement. And you can see that when you load a file, slice in the top left is automatically there. So then we have three choices, clear, detect, and divide. So if we press divide, it will just divide everything into slices of equal length. And we can adjust how many slices there are with the parts button. But probably for most cases, what's going to be more useful, so let's press clear there, is doing the detect button. So the detect button will um, detect the transients and slice it up intelligently for you. And it does really do a pretty good job. Now you can see though here, we're limited to 16 slices. I mean, this is a very large file. This is like maybe a two minute long file. So um, there is that. But, okay, let's look at another way we can do things here. So, oh. so, sorry about that. Let's clear this first. Okay, so we can go in ourselves and we can double tap. So we can zoom in even more if we need to. So we can just go in and make slices like that by double tapping. So you can see up here I've got one that I already did. This is from the session band Jazz, Jazz 2, I think. Those session band apps are pretty nice. You have um, royalty free samples. <laughs> That's going to be a controversial statement for some people. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, a lot of really nice jazz tracks, and you can take out the different parts that you like. So you can just extract a nice uh, jazz trumpet, whatever. So 
put that in and took right I so I just chopped it up here into eight different parts And now, oh, let me press slice again. Okay. Yeah. So again, you know, if you if you have something and you just want to go in, and you decide you want to change something, you just double tap again, and you've got a new slice there. So again, it's on mono at the moment, and shot, but let's see what doing shot and poly sounds like. So you can get these lovely sort of choral effects. Go in and do a bit of pong, for example. So there we go. Really um, great app. Love how well it detects the transients. So anyway, go and get it and play with it. And by the way, um, Andrea has offered uh, at least one code for viewers. So you can see the instructions in the comments section. Get in there and good luck winning the code. All right, guys, thanks a lot. See you next time.